That's beautiful. You nearly made me cry. Hey! Hey! This is a question that we ask Google. Yep. But, but, tell the, 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 the men's team I'm coming. I like to let people think I know everything about everything. I don't. So today, I'm linking up with Emily Campbell. She's a weightlifting legend. We're going to be answer searching the questions you guys have asked Google about weightlifting and women. Let's go. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah? We're going to do some proper training today, all right? I'm good, I'm good. Don't yeah? worry about that. Let's do some stretching and some warming up. Feels nice. Feel good? Yeah. Let's get into some questions. Can women be as strong as men? Yeah, 100%. But in weightlifting as well, yeah. our women's team is better than our men's team. So we took four females to the games and we took no males. Obviously our first ever British medal for a female as well. One by more. One by you? Yeah, so. You're a G. Everyone thinks that like being strong is all about being physical. But exactly. It's all about the mental as well, right? Can a woman be a weightlifter? I don't know the answer to that. I was about to say, do you know this one? <laughs> <laughs> we have women that are 4 foot 11 and are 45 kilos. That capacity weightlift. Any height, any shape, that's the beauty of our sport. It's unique. Everybody looks completely different. It's beautiful, right? That's sensational. I'm doing it better now, right? Yeah, get there down and that's into it. it. I'm a bit warmer now, you yeah, know? Yeah, put your that's back it. in. There we go. So are female athletes paid less? From what I know, yes, they are. This is a question that... We asked Google. Yep. So we got the facts. Okay, so it says, in most sports, women earn significantly less than their male counterparts. Many female athletes often have to have full-time jobs on top of being a full-time athlete to survive. Yeah, which I can relate to this. Most of my career, I've had to work as well as train full-time, and it is exhausting, wow. quite frankly. That's um, mad, though. That is, that is mad, isn't it? Is gym fear real? Do you know what? I think it is real, you know. It is quite an intimidating place to go if you don't know anybody there. 100%. Or you don't know how to use the equipment. When I first started going to the gym, I was doing everything. Everything. I would do chest, legs, arms, back, <laughs> chin, elbow, <laughs> fingers, everything in one session. This is what Google says. It often involves feelings of fear of being judged based on one's fitness level. Gym anxiety does not discriminate between gender, size, strength, or how fit you are. Wow. Wow. There is such a thing called gym anxiety. There we go then. Right, let's go to the gym. I'm ready. Let's go. This let's way. go. The way you expected? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, where's the rest of the machines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't use machines. We're the combat four. Stand up straight and then press your legs. There we go. Yes. So, the question is, can I ask someone out at the gym? Yeah, like, yeah, I might do something like, oh, you dropped something. Oh, oh you, you dropped the dumbbell, can I take you to the noise? Like, Google says the gym is not really a place for socialising. If you see a person that you're interested in getting to know, just approach them and politely ask them if they would like to have lunch with you sometime. There's levels then, basically. There's levels. Learning. Learning. Always learning. Learning. I'm going to put a little bit more weight on for my Wait. next set, but don't worry. Oh. I won't make you do loads more. I thought he was going to... No, no, no. I, I think maybe try something like this. That, put that it, one there and we'll, we'll try that one for you, yeah? Can you be feminine and strong? I feel like people think because you lift weights and stuff that you can't have your nails done, you can't have lashes done, but you got to look good to lift good, right? I Should like be that. a new slogan, right? I like that. How to be a good gym partner? Support. Yeah? Encouragement. And then spot me. <laughs> so you don't die. That's, that's a crucial one. <laughs> Good. I saw that bad, you know. Good job. Come on! Tell the, the, the men's team I'm coming. Come on! <laughs> do you know what? It's mad that you just did that and you got all emotional and started screaming because our next question is, why do weightlift to scream? Why, why did you just scream? I felt um, proud. You felt empowered? Empowered. Yeah? Why do you scream? Because, like, it gets you, like, hyped up. How, how do you scream? Hi! Who are you saying hi to? Hi! No, 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 it's probably more passion than that. That was wet. Hi! Oh, gosh. Yeah. Try it. Bye! This, see, this, this was the passion. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Hey, let me see your deadlifts. You're doing it better than me. Of course I am. It's my job. Does power dressing really matter. When you actually dress nicely to the gym, yeah. I've got like a bit more like, 
pizzazz. Yeah, it gives you a, a, a whole in, new level of confidence, yeah, right? Yeah, I walk in like that. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't just yeah. start saying hello to people that no, definitely. You know, you, you, you've never yeah, seen you've before. Yeah, you've never seen before. Hi, mate. In competition, like I will make sure like everything I wear like matches. So I'm like, I am on top of the world that day and like I can lift like any weight that I'm put on the bar. So I definitely think it makes a difference. Nice. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of heavy still. You're so strong. Mm, it's kind of heavy. So our next question is, are female athletes sexualized? If I speak from what I've seen, like naturally, when you're watching something with the man them, they might just be like, oh, she looks good. Do you think that girls openly say that about men? One hundred and eighty percent. No, I agree with you. But questions that they are asked by journalists and stuff are always about the way they look and it's not actually about their performance. So I feel like that is a big thing, as well as women in gyms feeling like men are just looking at them as, you know, objects. Objects. I asked Google and it said, sexualization during the games has historically increased women's endorsements. However, it also provides an excuse for people to not take women's elite sports seriously as men's. I didn't know that. It's good that people are actually Googling that. Right, all done. Yep. Should we go warm down? Yes. Feet to get one up. Right. Stretch forward. Yeah. Touch your toes. I'm good at this stuff. Why are female role models important? Well, I think it's just always about representation, isn't it? I always say if you can't see it, you can't be it. And to see different types of people and different colours, ethnic minorities, so that every single little girl out there can relate to somebody and think that I can do that. Yeah? Click, click. click for that one. So what does it mean to be an ally to you? I think it's about supporting people and backing people, almost being like, someone's hype woman or hype man. You're, you're there, cheering them on. Yeah. Get it in, go do it, go get back. It. Who's someone that has supported you in sport? I think I'd probably have to say my dad. I remember going to him and saying, Dad, I want to be a weightlifter. And he took me to my first ever comp. He was always there, always on the sidelines. I just always want to make it proud, always. That's beautiful. You nearly made me cry. Oh, stop it, Michael. It has been so cool today to hang out with you, chill with you. You know, we answered some real cool questions and I hope we've helped some people out that have to Google search these questions as well. Yep. How do you think I did in the gym? For the first time, I would give you a seven out of 10. Was that a silver? Yeah, go on, you can take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs>